Hey everyone, it's your buddy Mitch here from CircuitStream. In this one, we're going to be talking about how you can submit your Oculus Quest application to the App Lab so people can try it out, and maybe you can eventually get it onto the Oculus Store as well. For a while, the Oculus Store was the only official way to distribute applications um, for the Quest platform, but that's since changed. The problem with that system was you had to meet a really high standard to be able to get your Oculus Quest app onto the Oculus Store. So it was like only the the cream of the crop, the the best of the the best applications can get on that store. So there was there was nothing for um, maybe indies or work in progress kind of things. So this led to a community response in the form of something called SideQuest, which is a community slash application where you can distribute your uh, your Oculus Quest apps and people can use this program, SideQuest, to install them without using the Oculus Quest store at all. So Oculus or Meta, whatever, saw this happening and decided to make their own alternative to this, and that's called the App Lab. Uh, to be clear, you still have to meet a lot of the standards and still hit a pretty high bar to be able to get your app accepted onto the App Lab, but the beauty of it is you don't have to work with any third-party software or anything like that. It feels a lot more official to distribute applications to clients or beta testers this way. So let's take a look at what we need to do to get our application onto the App Lab. So like I was saying before, the App Lab is still curated, it's just not as curated as the Oculus Store. So there's still some guidelines that we need to follow, and they fall under a couple of different categories. So the first thing we're going to cover is something called a data use checkup. So a data use checkup is only necessary if your application collects some kind of data. So if it uses the user's email or a uh, friends list or something like that, you need to submit a data usage checkup form to Meta to have your application approved. The next one is the big one. It's something called a technical review. The technical review covers a variety of different areas, such as um, audio, the overall performance of the application, how the input is used, and Meta has a bunch of virtual reality checks, they're called, uh, which is almost like a rubric for these different areas. And they'll go through and make sure that your application hits all of these marks. And you have to meet all these requirements for your application just to get on the App Lab, never mind the Oculus Store. So it would definitely be a good idea to, to give all these a read and make sure that your app is compliant with them. Let me know in the comments, would you want to see a video about how to optimize the performance of your application for the Oculus Quest? Let me know. Next up is something called the content review. This one's a little more wishy-washy. It doesn't have an exact set of guidelines like the technical one does extensively. The content review is more for overall, looking for things like polish, uh, the overall user experience, and even how functional your application is. So things like replay value. Is this something that they're going to be able to get through in two minutes and that's the most anyone's ever going to use it? Or is this something you can use over and over again? All these things are taken into consideration when deciding whether your app should be published onto the App Lab. So I'm here on the Oculus Developer Dashboard. Well, I guess it's the uh, the MetaQuest dashboard or whatever now and we're going to click this big green create new app button and we'll enter a name for the app let's go with dishwashing simulator just a little demo i was working on and of course we want to submit this to quest and it says app lab in brackets even um so we'll hit create and let's see what this does Okay, so first we're brought to this app product detail page. Um, let's take a look and talk about the different release channels that are here in the distribution tab. So what do all of these release channels mean here? So this is actually really similar to how the Google Play Store works. Um, the 
Different release channels are basically ways that you can submit different versions, different builds of your app to different user groups for testing. So, you know, that's going to change depending on how big your team is and, um, and things like that. So typically the alpha channel here is really just for developers. So people actively working on your application. The beta channel might be open to just a small group of testers or something like that. Um, maybe the release candidate channel would be rolled out to stakeholders or management or something like that. Maybe people who are overseeing uh, what's going on with development. And then the production channel is for stuff that's ready to go, ready to actually submit to the app lab as a release. And keep in mind, you can use these however you want. You can even make your own custom release channel. So these are uh, really just suggestions, but the important one is production because that's how you actually push it to the app lab for review. And if we look into these different release channels just really quick, we can see that we can upload builds um, right in here in the alpha channel and in the users tab, we can invite users to receive those builds. You know what, just for demonstration here, I will add uh, myself. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're adding users here, these emails that you're inviting people by have to be the emails that they use to sign up for their Oculus account. All right, so we've gone over the guidelines. We've taken a look at the, uh, the developer dashboard. Let's hop into Unity and see what we have to do to actually get our APK file ready to upload to Meta. All right, we're here in Unity where I feel most at home. Let's pop into the project settings here and go on over to the player settings. And we, we want to take a look at, in the Android tab, we wanna take a look at the publishing settings. So our publishing settings, in the Android tab at least, is where we can find something called the Key Store Manager. And this is important when you're submitting any Android application to a store such as the Google Play Store or uh, the Oculus App Lab, evidently, we need to sign our application. And we can do that right within Unity with this Key Store Manager tool. So let's open that up. All right, so what we're going to want to do here is create a new Key Store. And you can think of a key store as like a virtual key ring, basically. So we need to make a key store for our organization that can hold a cryptographic key that we're going to use to sign our application before we send it off. And that ensures that only we can make updates to that application. So I'm going to click this key store drop down here, go to create new. Um, I'll just say anywhere. And let's call this Mitch Inc. You can obviously call your key store whatever you want. And we have to make a little password here. And this is, uh, this is the password to get into your key store itself because we're making a new key store here. If you've already made one, you can select an existing one and find it. It's saved as a, a dot key store file. And we also need to make a new key in this case. So we'll give it a name and we'll give it a password and we'll click add key. And it's saying dish sim created in Mitch Inc. Key Store. Do you want to set them as your project key store and project key? Yeah, we'll let Unity automatically do that. Sure. And look at this. It's filled all of that out for us. And now we have an application that should be ready to go. So we'll build it. We'll go over into build settings here. We're set to um, to Android. All right, everything else should be fine. Let's just build this. Dish sim v1, I guess. And we'll wait for that to build, grab a coffee or something, and um, we'll get this submitted. All right, we've got our game built out here. Let's go back into the um, the dashboard, click upload new build, and oh, 
Uh oh. Okay, apparently we have to upload with the MetaQuest Developer Hub for Windows now, so let's download that. MetaQuest Developer Hub, and we'll take a look. Why they would get rid of web uploading is beyond me. Alright, so if you didn't have it installed already, the MetaQuest Developer Hub is actually really useful for testing your application as well. Um, leave a comment if you'd like to see a video about the ins and outs of the performance analyzer and the device manager here, but not the focus of this video. So we're going to go into the app distribution tab and hop on over to dishwashing simulator here. And you can see a really similar menu to what we are looking at on the web. We have the different release channels here, alpha, beta, release candidate, and production. Uh, we have our app, we can create our new app. Alright, so let's upload something to the alpha channel here. So we'll, we'll upload, I'll pick the APK that we just built, open. It gives us a quick little checklist here of really important things to follow. I think we have all of those bases covered. So we'll click next. And next again. And it looks like we can just click through those things and say upload. So while we're waiting for this upload, how about I check my email and we take a look at what it's like to accept an invite. Okay, so I got this email. Um, Hi Mitchell, Mitchell has invited you to install a pre-release version of Dishwashing Simulator. This allows you to access the app before it's available to the public. Preview apps are not reviewed by Oculus. You should only accept this invitation if you trust this developer. So this bypasses the review process. Congrats, you now have access to the pre-release app in the Oculus app within the My Preview Apps section. Okay. Well, we'll test that out in a little bit once it gets uploaded here. All right, so it says publishing status published up here. Uh... How about I throw on the Oculus headset? Let's see if we can access this application in the alpha channel now. Okay, so before we put on our headset, um, we'll want to open the MetaQuest app and go to our library here. You can see all of the apps that I have available. And because I've accepted that invite on my uh, in my email there, on my Oculus account, we can go to our application. And it's marked with App Lab here to let us know that this is a App Lab, and we get this notification too, telling us available through App Lab, and tells us what that is. And we can just say install on MetaQuest 2 at the bottom here, and let that do its thing. All right, and now here on the Quest itself, we can see that application is being downloaded. It's also marked with App Lab on here. Let's go to see details, uh, available through App Lab, you can see it says download queued, so it's doing its thing. Let's just wait a little bit for that to finish. All right, it looks like it's downloading my little application here. All right, let's open this up and test it. It's saying made with Unity, that's a good sign. And here we are, we're in my, uh, my application. Perfect. Dishwashing simulator, it works just fine. I didn't even have to plug in my headset. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it insightful and this helps you get your Quest application out there. And I'll see you in the next one.